Hey everybody, it's Michael Rosso in the Film Photography Project Studio. I'm here with John Fidelli behind the camera. How do you do? Hey John. Hey. And today I'm here to talk about Polaroid instant photography. Yeah, what about it? Well, instant photography is back in a very big way. Uh, years ago, we were all used to our uh, Polaroid one-step cameras, SX70, 600 camera. But in the year 2009, Polaroid stopped making film. These are the films that we're all used to. Polaroid 600 film, Polaroid SX70TZ artistic film. <laughs> but these films don't exist anymore. Hmm. And there was a big uproar, and people were out in the streets. There was a... There was riots. Yes. People and jumping off buildings. Exactly. It's but horrible. in the year 2010, the Impossible Project introduced new film for your Polaroid cameras. Now, what's very important with this film is that this is not the Polaroid formula. This is not Polaroid film. This is Impossible film. It's a very different emulsion, and a whole different mindset needs to take place in your brain to, to properly shoot it and to enjoy shooting it. So do not expect to get images that you got from your, your original Polaroid 600 film. Now, if that's, your, if that's what you're into, I would highly suggest using what's known as Fuji film, Instax film. You have Instax Mini. And Mini. In <laughs> and in that's okay. And in stacks wide film. And I'll show that to you guys in another segment. But in this segment, how do you squeeze some fun out of your existing impossible project uh, film and Polaroid cameras? Well, the first thing you need to know is that the film is highly light sensitive and hates the cold. Hates it. Doesn't like the cold. Tells you all the time. Now, if you go like to the cold. Impossible Project website, just go to Google Impossible Project and select a film the film type for your camera, there is a plethora of information, videos, everything you want to know about each emulsion of film so that before you shoot, you're properly prepared. Now remember, this is all for fun. There's no, this is not work, and your results will vary wildly because in many ways, this is experimental film. But here are two tips that I've discovered that will be very, very helpful in getting you started the first thing is, as I mentioned, the film is highly light sensitive. So when you it ejects from the camera, you do not want it to be exposed to any other light when the frog tongue comes back. Your frog tongue is when you shoot a picture. I'm going to show you in a second. When you shoot a picture, the picture comes out and it's covered by the black tongue. Uh, you know, <laughs> here, I'm going to show you. I'll take a picture of John. Now watch it when it ejects. And I'm also going to, when I shoot the camera, I'm also going to turn the camera upside down in order to keep the light shielded, the film shielded from any additional light. So I'm going to shoot John. What kind of, what kind of face are you Oh, let's see. What kind of mood am I in? Oh, I'm happy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> One, two. Now watch the frog tongue mm -hmm. covering the film and watch the acrobatics I do with this camera. Right. We're waiting, Mike. <laughs> now, I don't know if you saw that. But this, actually, you can see it here. Can you see that, John? No. Can you, can you see that now? No, it's in the dock. Look at this. When you eject a photo, how's that? That's okay. When you eject a photo, this tongue comes out and covers your image. And then it snaps back. Watch. Oh. See that? So when you shoot, flip upside down so, so that existing light isn't hitting the face of your, your picture. So, tink. Now, normally, you would take your picture and, you know, you would sit around with your friends and family and you would watch it develop before your eyes. That, was, that is what it was, was drummed into our heads year after year, month after month, week after week, day after day, hour after hour as James Garner, hey, it's time zero one step. Watch it develop before your eyes. Well, no, that doesn't happen anymore. So take your picture and stow it away in a pocket or your purse or an inside pocket because two things. You're shielding it from light, and B, you're using your body heat in order to keep the picture warm because it does not like the cold. Here is an image I took about 15 minutes ago of John. It's not fully developed yet. It's still developing. And just a few minutes ago, do you remember, John? It was blue. Yes. So I'm going to put this back in my pocket. Now, here are some actual images that I took this past Monday, 
These are fully developed. Here's Dave uh, tuning a harpsichord. This is the Smooth Sandwich Rock and Roll Group. Here's uh, Dane, who you may know from the Film Photography Podcast, and his buddy... Joe. Hey, hey, Joe. They were sitting around, campfire style, like playing tunes. Here's uh, Mark. Mark is uh, playing with his Yashica 44. Here's John having a Foster's Lager. I was playing with my beer. Yes. And what would you say if you were in Australia? I'd say, that's good, mate. So those are my two tips for today to immediately get started with using Impossible Project Film in your existing Polaroid camera. One, it's highly light sensitive. So please, 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 when you shoot, make sure you immediately shield your film from light. Either flip it upside down on a tabletop if it's warm out, or if it's below 70 degrees, stow that picture away in a pocket, breast pocket, inside pocket, warm purse, whatever, whatever you may have, by the heater. Uh, and those two tips alone will get you immediately started so you have beautiful images. So more soon, more soon on the Impossible Project film, two tips to get started. My name is Michael Rosso. You can email me, by the way, at podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. And don't forget about our website, our main site, filmphotographyproject.com. And this is your, your internet gateway to our internet radio show, the Film Photography Podcast, and also our online store, Film Photography Store. It's a tab, says store. So until next time, my name is Michael Rosso, and as always, enjoy shooting.